Here we are folks, long awaited sea trial on the Monster. 23 foot 2007 Sea Dew Challenger. Twin supercharged engines pumping out 430 horsepower. This is one of the most powerful family jet boats money can buy. Gorgeous wake tower on it. It's a good $2,000 option right there. It is all here. Around 100 hours total time on the twin uh, engines. Beautiful dash. Sea Dew did a uh, nice job on the uh, the dash style. There's your throttles. Just popped down on the there. Push her uh, forward, yeah. Um, let's show you a neat little feature that Sea Dew has here. I'll pull this across. So it's an 07 Sea Dew Challenger. So you flop that baby across, and then the windshield folds up. So you can have it like that. in that configuration. Okay, so if you still want to talk to the people in the front, and then you fold this up. Actually, you know what, we're going to have it up because the carpet, this thing's so fast that the carpet lifts up. So I am going to leave it up. You put that pin in, secure it. So an interesting setup that Sea Dew has uh, done on these boats. So you saw that folds up or slides out of the way. Very fast machine to say the least. Uh, let's have a look at the engines. Let me, uh, you gotta pop it from the glove box here. Okay. There's the tray table. There's your power plants. Put her in, yeah. And we're also gonna uh, include the Sea Dew optional. Uh, maintenance oil change package with this, which is uh, Sea Dew filters oil um, and some filters and a few little good oh, and plugs. It's going to be added for the boat and free of charge. So, once again, it's an 07 Sea Dew Challenger, 23 foot. Uh, these boats are bigger and have 100 more horsepower than the Yamaha AR 230, and they're less money. Um, this boat here, I mean, big bucks new now. They're pushing uh, around fifty thousand dollars. I think we're twenty six nine. Please go on our website at bellinghamboatland.com to confirm price. We've been really busy. She's just been sitting in our warehouse for the last little bit until we finally dug her out. Got a sunny day here in the northwest, but this is an exciting ride. There's no propellers, so there's nothing to think about when you put it in the water. You just make sure you got the little screw and plug at the back, and you dump it in. That's about it. There is no uh, outdrives to lower down for propellers. I love the sound. Uh, sounds kind of like a P-51 Mustang uh, engine there. Okay, let's show the big wake. All you wakeboarders, this is what you want right here. Hook your rope up there. Just go mucking speed turn. Let's go down this way. Just do about, uh, do about 12 miles an hour. Easy to control. One throttle does both. So this forward and then the red one there. A little bit bigger, a bit, bit more speed, yeah. A little bit faster. Yeah, right about there. Nice big wake out of the twin. Oh yeah. There's a big wake, huge wake. It's about 18 knots, 15 miles an hour, around there, 15 miles an hour, 18 miles an hour. Okay, uh, yeah, I want you to head down this way so we can have the sun on this side of the boat. Got it, want me to Okay, uh, let me put my helmet on. Lock in. Let's go. Can, uh, these are this is fast and furious, not for the uh, weak at heart. You don't have to go fast, but when you'd want to, you sure can. 
Uh, a bigger boat than the Amal at 23 foot. They're slightly beamier. They're wider right across the width port there. This has been the Sea Trial of 2007. Sea Dew Challenger, 430 horsepower, twin engines. Let's have a look at the back here. Four thirty Rotax. We're almost summer here, so this is the kind of boat that uh, you can just push the button. There is no keys to turn, actually. You just push two little buttons on the dash for each engine. There is no propellers to worry about chewing anyone up. So if you want to uh, wake surf a foot behind the boat, you can do it. Nice big tower. She produces a great big wake. And she really goes when you want to. Your Yamaha AR in this configuration the same year puts out their high output puts 320 horse. You're 100 horse, over 100 horsepower more at 430 horsepower. On a boat with no parasitic drag, I mean there's no outdrive to stick in the water. Nothing sticks underneath the boat, so you just need a couple feet of water and you're floating. Um, there's nothing under the boat to slow you down. So you, uh, you get a lot of speed. That being said, when you slow down on these, leave yourself a bit of room because there's no drag to slow you down like a conventional boat. Nice and quiet. And actually, we don't have the cover in there. We also have the table that clips in there. Aerial weight tower, roller gauges, factory depth sounder. Did a really nice job on that. I'll stand back so we can see it. Let's lean over to the side of it there, Dan. Okay. Time to take some photos now. Thanks for watching. We do ship worldwide. We're a bonded, certified, licensed dealer in the state of Washington. Uh, and we do hold title on everything we sell, meaning they're not brokers items. We own them out outright. We can ship to anywhere in the world, and we have done so. This has been, once again, the sea trial of year 2007. Sea Dew Challenger 430 horse, 23 foot, comes on the tandem trailer. Thanks for watching. Okay. Sign it off.